Welcome to yet another great episode of Masim Dumisa Gospel Show right here on Life Destiny. It is your life, your destiny. And I'm so excited and ecstatic to be in front of your screens this evening. And as you definitely do know that the entire theme on Masim Dumisa Season 4 is all on Thanksgiving. And that is true gratitude. We are very quick to ask the Lord and plead on our behalfs every single day. But however, we seldom thank him for the great things that he does for us. And tonight, we want to give that true praise and worship simply in gratitude. Well, Hamba Nolendiwe, it is your girl, Uti Makatsoka's toilet. I am quite excited to be here with you tonight, and I'm looking forward to the group that will be blessing us with the beautiful, beautiful music and tunes from heaven. And anyway, like Nolendiwe has alluded to the theme of the, of the night and of the overall season, and that is Thanksgiving. I just want to remind you for tonight that our verse is Psalms 150 and verse 6. And that says, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. And where would you rather praise the Lord but with Masim Dumise? I hope that you will be enjoying the show tonight. Hey, Londi? Definitely, definitely. Because we have a, such a young and amazing group all the way from Kempton Park Central all right. Johannesburg that's going to be joining us later on in the show. And they're going to be sharing more about how basically the group started and also their personal experiences as young people. And I'm super excited about all the items they're going to be blessing us on the show this evening. And to actually know more about this group to learn more about this group and to actually uh, follow them and, and and engage with us on our social media platforms and that is uh, Twitter Facebook and Instagram we are there we are looking forward to hearing more from you not just likes but talk to us tell us what it is that you'd like to see happening on the show and we'll gladly 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 implement your suggestions but coming up right next is blended editions with a beautiful item do enjoy
seeking for refuge somehow. Come and be filled with His tender compassion, Jesus the Savior divine. Joined us, you are watching Muslim to Me, it's a gospel show right here on Life Destiny. It is your life, your destiny. Joining me in studio right now is a group all the way from Kempton Park, Johannesburg. It is Blended Edition. And in studio, I have two members of the group, and that is Umtutuzi as well as right. Josh. Gentlemen, good evening. Good evening, man. Good How evening. are you doing? Very well, and you? I'm good great, day. thank you. It's an honor to have you in studio and to have you sharing so much of yourself as well as your ministry. All right, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. So, I really want to know about Blended Edition. Who is Blended Edition? How did the name come about? Which year did it start? And what do you aim on doing in this world? Okay, so uh, Blended Edition is a group based in Kempton Park. It's a mixed group. Okay. Um, based in Kempton Park. And we started the group in April 2017. Do? That's true. That's true. April 2017. Nice. Um, you know, and we, we were together at church, me and Duduzi and... Barnabas, and we said, oh, why don't we start a group? Because, mm. you know, in the East Rand, there yes. isn't so many groups. That's you know? true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there isn't so many groups. Yes. So we said, oh, let's just start a group, you know. Mm. Why not? And then we asked some ladies that we were, you know, ministering with in church to join us. And they were very excited to join us. So we were like, oh, this must be a good sign. Mm. Must be a sign from God. If you start a group, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, we got together and we started a group. Nice. That's it. And do? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, I mean, most of what he just said, I mean, mm -hmm. but uh, over and above that, we, we, we saw that, I mean, soothing, soothing souls, music mm -hmm. soothes the soul. And that's like one of the wow. main things True. that we, we wanted to do or mm -hmm. fulfill, as, you, as you've asked. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we're trying, we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah, slowly but surely. So why soothing souls? Why, why do you find that as something important when you're singing your song and you want to, you know, um, and put that on me? What, what, what does that mean to you? And why is that important? 
Okay, well, um, you know, when, um, because as he was saying, we were already ministering in church. So, okay. I mean, basically, we. Through other ministries? Through, through other things, like uh, maybe leading in song. Okay. In worship, worship. services. Okay. So, I mean, when you look look at the people that you, you're you leading out, you can mm. see with Amen. It's almost as if, you know, people have different struggles. Some might be happy today, yes. some might be sad. That's true. And so. when you just put mm. music in it, it just makes everything feel better. So, mm. I mean, soothing the souls. I mean, things must come in nicely. So music comes in nicely to the soul mm -hmm. and you feel happy. You know? I love that quickly. So in closing, what is Thanksgiving to you? Because that's what our whole season here on Massim Dumis is all about. So just you, Mtutuzi, what is Thanksgiving to you? Okay, basically, um, Thanksgiving to me would be showing appreciation, you know, to, yeah. to the one who made us. Showing appreciation mm. for the things that he's given us. Love that. Showing appreciation for how he's provided for us. You know, as young people, if I can look at all the people probably I went to school with, yes. you know, some of them aren't in the lane that I'm in. Mm. And, you know, so giving thanks, even as a group, we'll be basically yeah. saying, you know, giving thanks for the opportunity that God has given us to stand on his behalf and minister to other people. Lovely, lovely gentlemen. Thank you so much. That was really amazing. And may God continue to bless you in this ministry. Thank you. There you have it. That was Mtutuzi as well as Josh from Blended Edition. If you want more music to lift you up and touch your souls, do not move from the seats. We'll be back after the ad break. Was 
and shall come Keep hopes burning bright is Jesus in glory The Lamb that was slain Comes to gather us home Where we'll live evermore To my brother and my sister Father and mother I've been dreaming Of better days I've been dreaming Of better days shall behold him one day we shall see him riding on the clouds yes. shining like the stars we as a Christ is coming again Christ is He will be King Oh yes, He will He will reign over everything I hear melodies When I think of you He will be King Oh yes, He will He will reign over Everything I hear melodies, oh Lord, when I think of you, I hear melodies, oh Lord, when I think of you. Welcome back. You are still tuned in on your favorite music show on TV. And what else could that be besides Massim Dumise on Life Destiny TV? And well, we have been with a beautiful group singing for us beautiful tunes, and that is um, Blended Edition. Right now, I'm having a beautiful chat, if I can say that, with the sisters of the group, and that is Okukuletu and Uvera. Hello, ladies. And Seba, Hello. thank you. Hello. I have to say thank so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, you know, Ulandi was speaking to Ujosh earlier on and Anononom Duduzi about where the group is coming from and the vision for the group, you know. But right now, you and I are just going to have a little bit of a chit chat, chat, chat about, you know, how does your target audience receive you? How do they perceive you? And what is the purpose of, of your whole ministry? And actually, before I get into, into all of that, let's just start by asking you ladies, just from Jay, uh, personal interest, um, what do you guys do personally on a, in your everyday life? Uh, do you do music all the time or are you involved in something else? No, we're, we work. We have okay. to pay the bills. Yeah, you pay the bills. I'm in sales. I'm in part sales. All right. Um, currently, I am in law. I'm a candidate attorney. I'm trying to Yay. get to that yeah. level. Yay. <laughs> so that's what I do. That's beautiful. Business. I love that. <laughs> well, viewers at home, we are sitting with a very, uh, pro, um, what, what can I say, educated and talented young woman here. But, you know, you've mentioned in here your beautiful, lovely careers, that you are in sales and you are in, in, in law. Now, uh, and now, on an ad hoc basis, if I can call it that, you sing and you minister to, uh, uh, to souls and giving them soothing music, like Um Duzi had said earlier on. Um, how do you blend that with what you are doing on your day-to-day -day life? Um, for me, I'm a, my profession requires you to be with people. Okay. And you have to be a, a social person. Mm. And I believe as a Christian, you can't be a social person without mentioning something about Jesus. Hello. So <laughs> I'm here selling whatever and somehow um, working Jesus into the conversation happens. Beautiful. And you, are, you, Beautiful. Are, you, are, you find yourself ministering. What do you do at church? I sing at church. Oh, okay. I'd like to hear that. And then boom, you have somebody coming to church. So mm. ministry, yeah. 
That's lovely. That is actually beautiful, you know, because it actually explains the whole essence of Christianity. Mm-hmm. It does not only start and end at church, yeah. but even during the week, Definitely, even when yeah. you're at home or you're at work, yeah. you know, you continue to bless and minister to souls. Mm-hmm. I love that, Gugu. Now, just uh, if you can just uh, edify to what we are talking about, Vera. Um, you know, you guys are singing. Mm-hmm. And I want to understand... Why are you doing this? What is the purpose of you doing this? And have you achieved whatever it is that you are trying to achieve through this music group? All right. Um, like Duduzi and Josh said, you know, mm. we're all in the church. We all love God. We all we were singing already. So it was like, hey, it's a good idea. Let's make it. A, let's make a group and sing. But I think all of us in the group love singing. And mm. all of us in the group, most importantly, love God. Yeah. So yeah. we thought... Why not use the gift that God has given us Hello. and glorify the God that has given us mm. the gift and use that to minister at the same That's time beautiful. while we also grow our own spiritual lives. Mm. Through our own music, we grow. The more we make music, the more we grow in our spiritual life. And I think our growth is shown through the music and then even our fans can witness that, they can feel that, then they can understand that they are singing to, they are singing for God. They're not mm. singing for themselves. It's mm. not about blended edition. It's about the God that made blended hey, edition. Preach, sister. <laughs> so I think, I think in terms of us reaching our goals, I, um, our we have big goals. I uh-huh. think we are getting closer to our goals every single day. I wouldn't say that we have reached the pinnacle of where we want to be or where we want blended edition mm. to be. But mm. I think slowly as we grow over the years, I mean, like we've only been around there. for like two and a half years, yeah. but I think already we've got a bit of a presence. Mm. So I think slowly we're getting there, but mm. eventually we will. Okay, yeah. taking baby steps, but yeah. making huge strides. I yes. love that. Yes. Um, is music, especially Christian music, still honored in the community of Christianity and globally as well? I would think yes and no. Okay. Um, and uh, okay, in in specifically when it comes to um, Johnny Clegg's death, mm. music that music was made for a specific era. Okay. And it's for a specific time. Mm. And certain people can't resonate with that. Twenty-eight year olds, twenty-one year olds can't resonate with Johnny Clegg. Mm. Because they weren't there when he was suppo- he was singing Zulu when he was supposed to be singing English. Mm. So, um, unfortunately, this this is the mindset. Well, the one I see of musicians, they make music for an era, and the evolving parts of hey. the music is not taken into consideration. Hey. And you find that that's why um, artists die down. You don't you don't know who whoever. 1990 who's that because their music only translates to people who were there at that time yeah and not necessarily a a millennial Mm. you know so i definitely feel like it needs to to translate to all generations the music that we we make needs Mm. to translate to all generations and Mm. be rigid and strong enough to last through the years you know unfortunately that's not the the case i love that it's beautiful well, because, yeah, unfortunately, this is not a talk show, but a music show, and the music must go on. <laughs> I must say, I really, really, really enjoyed talking to you ladies. And uh, personally, I enjoyed the girl chat that we had. <laughs> I love that. Uh, may God continue to inspire your ministry, to bless your ministry, and to grow your ministry as well. And thank continue you. to let that soprano and that alto shining yes, out there. Yes, <laughs> thank, thank you. So well, to our viewers at home, that was our time with a blended edition. Coming up right next is them with a beautiful tune called Seasons. Do enjoy. Seasons come and go but Jehovah's word will stand for all eternity for you and I to see oh yes don't you worry when the storm clouds gather don't you worry don't you worry when the rain comes stand on his word his love is true he's by your side
that we want you to experience true praise and worship near you. So to find out what is happening near you, keep your eyes on the screen. to your favorite show on TV and that is Massim Dumise on Life Disney TV. You know what I like about you viewers at home is that you are still actually sitting there on that couch and watching this beautiful show, enjoying the beautiful music from God. But well, at this moment, we will be blessed with a beautiful, beautiful item of poetry where we will be inspired with words right from above. Acts chapter two needs to be relived. When we, the church, are done being timid, sleeves rolled up, knelt knees, dirty with dust, faces covered with every ocean drop, lips drenched in midnight prayer as their salt and water healed and cleansed the land. You could tell by the furnace burning in their eyes that God had answered their cries and now their bones had ignited into fire, burning as hell. And so each time they moved, it gave the enemy a taste of home. In this beat, they wouldn't stop. In this heat, they wouldn't stop. Their sweat was as heavy as thunder, seeking to redeem the joy the enemy had plundered. Because once, once they were broken and bruised, silently hidden behind church walls. Oh, but now, now they were confident blacksmiths, melting his word, God sharper than a two-edged sword down their spine so that they could stand strong, tall, bold, ready to fight, address principalities as they dressed in Ephesians 6, 11. Girls and boys with swords who understand that this, this is war. So set the foxes on fire, Samson, and let's pay the enemy's fields and camp a visit. We will arrive as a burning bush and exodus igniting lightning sea, so that even when we are dead and buried, the earth and future won't despise and forget our bones as holy friction, not just fiction, as us dust collides with the chief cornerstone. Now it's lava, explosion of scriptures, faith fumes, worship consumes, and that's why the fields of the enemy are black with suit of shame and defeat because no fire goes unseen. Though long done, the evidence is imminent and that's why the three Hebrew boys could parade in fire because the fourth man was infinite degrees immeasurable. And so even after seven times seven heat turned up, he omega the multiplication exponentially. The expert walked in with world class information. Did you know that? The sun is 109 times bigger than the earth and burns at 15 million degrees Celsius. So King Nebuchadnezzar, 
what business brings you here? Can't you see that you are dealing with fire himself? See, he is dressed in fire. The all-consuming fire could lick up the rivers and ocean if it pleased him, yet he placed the sun at a great distance enough for us to just merely bask beneath it. Rule forever, O king, but don't be fooled. Don't be fooled, O child of God. Let it be known that you are flammable. Yes, you are flames. So, set the foxes on fire, Samson, and let's pay the enemy's fields and camp a visit. We will take back everything that the enemy stole from us and tear down all the strongholds as we, as we ignite. And we've reached that part of the show, which is not my favorite part of the show because we have to say our goodbyes. But however, we are still available on every single social network. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our lovely guests for being with us this evening, sharing so much of themselves as individuals, as a group, and of course, as being children of God. Thank you so much to Blended Edition. And of course, to the host next to me, Dima, you've been nothing but amazing. Well, I enjoyed your time as well, Lindewe. And more than just to Lindewe, I actually enjoyed you at home. I want to just encourage you again that do follow us on our social media platforms. Don't just like but chat to us, talk to us, and let us know what your thoughts are. And just to close off the show is Blended Edition. Bye-bye and good night. Good night. Come to Jesus now and rest a while. Friend, a faithful friend. Come in, he waits to greet you, child. The Jesus now and rest a while.